What's up guys it's the real deal welcome back to the channel guys we did it we managed to win champion training and get all five souls for harima which is absolutely huge um was it worth it 100 yes was it hard yes um but i will show you guys some strategies um the resources that i used to get the win and just talk you through the epic journey that we went on for this really really difficult tournament so obviously it was definitely worth it. Like Harima is a God tier champion. And I, I obviously I pulled her the week before and be able to get five stars souls on her is just huge. I mean, she's going to smack an arena. She's a hard carry. I mean, if it was like, if it was Cavalax, I would have skipped. There's no way I would have done it for Cavalax, but God tier champion, definitely worth doing. And, you know, it's going to save me five months of grinding. Um, you know, you have to wait patiently for these souls to pop up. And also we save on immortal soul essences. I think it's 500 or 600 per champion. And then eternal soul essences is 300. If you know the exact number, please let me know in the comments below. But yeah, we're saving so many soul essences. And um, it, uh, sorry, an iron twins is capped. You can only farm iron twins so much every single day. Of course, you're always going to do doubles on Sunday and free to play players are only going to be doing singles on a daily basis. So it's capped on how much you can farm it. Also, Dungeon Diver event was on at the same time. So this means we get to double dip. And, you know, if you just farm dungeons, it's really, really hard. But if you farm campaign, it's a lot, lot easier and a lot faster. So we managed to hit 6,000 really, really comfortably and made it an absolute breeze. The other thing was as well is that CVC was on at the same time. So actually, we didn't double dip. We triple dipped, baby. And yes, yeah, so we managed to triple dip as well. So we had to do this on the old mobile phone. So I'm going to show you guys some um, screenshots. So let me just bring that up. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties are there. There we go. Um, yeah, so I had to do it. I had to kick it old school, do it on the old Mobley phone and also use an auto clicker. So you can see the auto clicker here on the left. So yeah, we had brews, um, 600 sort of ish across the board and then 379 in spirit, 81 in uh, void and then three um, um, XP barrels. Then 263 common books, 325 epic books. And that's probably like three years of saving. Um, I only use about maybe 20 to 30 epic books per personal reward CVC. Um, otherwise, I don't really have epic cha champions that I need to, to book up as end game. And then um, legendary books, we had 12, 12 mythical books. And I actually had 10 more legendary books outside of this, but I burnt them. Uh, trying to push for Amos. Um, that was a big mistake. You should only um, use legendary books during CVC. So won't be doing that again. And yeah, so I didn't get screenshots from the first two days. So first uh, day number one, uh, we pushed to 8K. Um, Appa was in the lead uh, at 10K. And then the second day um, I pushed to 10K and Appa pushed to 16, and then I was just waiting for CVC to start. So CVC started, we went hard, we used a whole ton of books, like all the legendary books, um, all of our mythical books, um, not sure, I think maybe 200 epic books, um, and then just I was doing ascensions, and just six, you know, but a whole bunch of chickens were used as well, and just like six starring champions, I think I six starred probably about six legendaries, and maybe four epics. So just went really, really hard with that. And yes, yeah, so we've got a nice, comfortable lead at 37k. And this person has a really offensive name. Um, so I had to change it from I'm a to I'm a friendly grandma. And they pushed to 26k. And they ended up being my rival for all of this uh, champion training tournament. And we also had to fuse Lady Makagi. And the reason for this was. Um, I don't have any, you know, free to play. I don't have any mythical champions and I needed 
to use those mythical books. So you did a whole bunch of fusing and I didn't really want to do it um, because I wanted to get a dupe epic copy of this guy. Unfortunately, I accidentally um, used this rare at some point, which I've been saving for months. So that was a bit, bit of a hiccup from me. Um, so yeah, so Fuse Lady Tatsu and Kriya as well. Um, I really didn't want to use her. I did kind of want to get a dupe, but you know, it is what it is. So fused her as well. And then we fused Lady Makagi and that gave me a whole bunch of points as well. And of course I six starred her out as well. And so in four hours, we managed to do 430k points in CVC. I mean, that is a big push for me. Normally I like to just do 400k and that's it. I sort of hit 400 and then I call it a day. Uh, so, and then we can see that the next day, um, friendly grandma got a little bit too friendly. She went hard and bumped up to 37k, so 1k gap. And then she, I pushed up to 50k, left it, came back, and she became a cheeky grandma and she got 46k. So she is right on our tail. And you can see sort of here how many brews we've used. So, um, 426 uh so we praised about um sort of 200 ish um yeah 200 brews then wait yeah yeah 200 brews 200 brews again and then sort of 80 here so it's all about 500 brews in total and one xp barrel um books we've gone down we've used 100 commons 200 epics um, we used all of my legendary books and I think 10 mythical books. Uh, that legendary book I just picked up from Clan Boss. And then Cheeky Grandma still sitting at 46k and we pushed to 58k. So I thought, got a big comfortable gap. And I consulted my boy Boozer. Um, he's another content creator. And he was like, bruh, you need to push to at least 70k or 75k. And I was like, oh, I just, you know, I need to go to bed. I don't have the resources. Um, but I did, yeah, so we, we're sitting at 60K and they're still sitting at 46. So I'm like, okay, we've got a comfortable leave. We're going to call it a night. I wake up and Naughty Grandma has pushed the 54K. Um, so they're, they're, they're pushing again. They're going hard. So again, I have to make that gap and you need to try and keep a comfortable lead through all of this. So I push back and we've got a 13K gap right there. And grandma is not happy. She's a naughty grandma and she's pushed to 60K. So I've had to push up to 67 and we've got three hours and 40 minutes to go. And granny wants some of the action. She's pushed, pushed to 61K. We've got three hours and 18 minutes. Um, I'm sitting at 71K. And then I check again and grandma has pushed to 62K. So I'm just pushing a little bit. Um, you know, I've had this happen to me in the past in CVC where uh, we had a huge gap against a Russian clan. And I think it was something like we had a three mil gap. And in the last hour, they just sniped us. So I was like, I do not want to get sniped again. So we're sitting at 74K, but I'm lightly sort of just farming, just keeping a little bit of a gap, make sure that we're okay. You can see grandma has given up here um, and I've just pushed to 76, just, you know, just to make sure that if anything does happen, I can drop some brews, I can do some ascension, I can use the last few bit of my books. And yep, grandma's not doing anything down to 10 minutes. And that's it. Grandma defeated. Um, and we win. We get a legendary book out of this. We get six pieces of Relentless Gear. And we get Harima. And you can also see the CVC. We finished on eight, well, 8,000. No, sorry. 827k. This is like a record for me. I've never pushed that hard for CVC. But yeah, it feels good. And yeah, nice, comfortable lead. So I'm just going to go back and have a look at our resources. So I actually forgot to screenshot this. So I used 2000 gems, energy, you know, doom tower, 
Um, literally like anywhere I could get energy from, obviously like daily quests. I was saving it all for champion training. Um, I did skip, I think, um, there was another, was, was there a fire night tournament going on? I skipped fire night for their, this and yeah, and just went hard on energy, on gems. And also let's just look at how many brews we had left over. So it did quite well, actually. Like, um, so we only used sort of like 300 ish brews. So 300, 600, yeah, like 600 brews. Uh, we only used, I, we, I did use all three XP barrels. This is just another XP barrel I got from somewhere else. So yeah, not too bad. Um, Ascension, you know, I had to burn quite a bit of silver. Yeah, silver, silver, I reckon I spent about 30 mil on this. Um, just, you know, upgrading skills, um, Ascension. Oh yeah, and look at this. So in the end, I used 300 epic books, three years of saving down the drain, uh, 200 rare books. And obviously we picked up some more uh, books like from Clan Boss and from Hydra and whatever. Um, but yeah, so that's like sort of everything we use. But yeah, basically it was just about, I guess a big mistake for me is I should have taken a screenshot of um, my chickens. And also this is something that I like to do as well is that um, I just had a whole bunch of champions here just sitting waiting to be six starred or just champions that are you know ready to be used as chickens so i reckon i probably um let's just have a look for chicken wire so um three star chickens i had about 40 um four star chickens i had about 20 and five star chickens i had 10 and then chickens that are ready like food champions that are ready to go um i had about 10 five star champions so in future, I'm definitely going to be saving up my chickens. I won't be using them in any champion trainings. If one of these comes around again and it's definitely worth going for, then I'll be ready for it and I'll be burning all these chickens that I saved up for. Um, obviously, I can't go so heavy on the books. Um, I won't be using any rare or, or epic books for the next couple of CBCs. Need to, need to save those up. But yeah, guys, so that's sort of the strategy that I used. Uh, so stoked to be able to finally get like a, a like a really strong Harima. She is like going to be an absolute game changer on the account. I and mean, you can see that I've I've got a pretty strong free to play four year end game account. Um, but yeah, she is definitely going to be one of my go to um, legendaries. Like I've got Pytheon, I've got Duchess. They work perfectly in harmony with her. Um, and there's like all the, you know, I've got like a Tormund, obviously loads of people have got Tormund now, I've got Hegemon, I've got Ulmer oh, Death Knight, there's so many different team comps that I can go with her, um, I cannot wait to start using her, but yeah, real, real game, game changer, let me know how you guys got on in the tournament, did you, you know, and yeah, you know, you saw where we sort of finished, and we were actually pretty close to being on the global leaderboard as well, um, when I finally looked, I think it was like 77k was actually sort of the starting point to get in the top 100. But yeah, so that's sort of what we've done, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A bit of a different one. But yeah, please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll see you all in the video soon. Peace.